Joining us to discuss U.S.-Egyptian relations and issues that are likely to be on the agenda when President Mubarak meets with President Obama tomorrow is Salome Namad. He is a foreign affairs columnist for the Internet news site The Daily Beast, and he joins us from Washington. Welcome. Thank you. As the Obama administration tries to come up with some sort of Middle East peace deal, what role does it envision for President Mubarak? Well, the Obama administration would like to see Mubarak take uh, some steps to normalize relations with Israel. Egypt has a peace treaty uh, with Israel since 1979, but it has been a cold peace. And uh, the uh, Obama uh, administration would like to see some warming up of relations, some kind of uh, exchanges of visits, uh, uh, some kind of uh, concessions, if you like, to Israel, such as allowing uh, 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 flyovers of airplanes, Israeli airplanes over uh, Egyptian airspace, uh, things like that, in order to create a more kind of positive atmosphere that would help uh, launch the peace process. On the other hand, the Egyptians insist that Israel should freeze all settlement activity in the Palestinian occupied territories in order to facilitate such moves. Egypt's easily the most populous country in that region with 83 million people, but is it as influential as it used to be? Uh, it is probably not as influential as it used to be, but it is still an important country in the region. It has a peace treaty with Israel. Uh, it is a leading member of the Arab League. And uh, it, it does set the tone, the political tone, if you like, for, for the Arab side in terms of, you know, if Egypt goes uh, towards normalization of relations with Israel, other countries will, are likely to be encouraged to do so. The problem is that uh, the Arab side, the Palestinian side, is divided between uh, the moderate Palestinian Authority in the West Bank and the hardline Hamas Islamic movement in Gaza. Same thing on the Israeli side. The Israelis are divided between those who want to accept uh, the uh, uh, basis for, for negotiations with, with, the, with the Palestinian side, who are uh, willing to hold settlements in the occupied territories, and the hardliners who, who do not want to do that. So on both sides there are problems. The Obama administration is trying to reach some kind of common ground that would uh, move or relaunch the peace process. President Obama has been uh, criticized by some who say his administration has been too quick to embrace what they consider Mubarak's authoritarian regime. Uh, does that really undercut U.S. credibility in the region? I think it's uh, probably showing the Obama administration's pragmatism in dealing with this issue. On the one hand, it is calling, it is still upholding uh, principles of freedom and democracy and human rights, but it's not making a big issue out of these uh, these matters, uh, which makes it easier for the Mubarak government. Uh, at the same time, uh, there is uh, this criticism that perhaps uh, the current administration is not as uh, serious about uh, spreading democracy in that part of the world, and that, of course, hurts its credibility to some extent. Salome Namad, thank you for joining us tonight. You're welcome.